Hello there, my name is Rolly, ZO1BQD. Now those who have been following along on my channel will know that I've been going around New Zealand uh, talking to uh, New Zealand ham radio operators and seeing what they get up to. Recently I've uh, uh, visited with my very good friend of mine, uh, Gary, ZL3SV. And I've featured a few of his uh, videos uh, with Gary over the last few weeks. And this time uh, we're going to have a look at uh, Gary's station uh, and particularly his antenna system. I think you'll be impressed. So, you know the drill. Yeah, pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee. Go on, let's go and talk to Gary, shall we? Well, Gary, what I can see up there, mate, is a whole is a fantastic open wire feeder, for goodness sake, which goes right up there. Yep. Then this wire uh, disappears for eternity down over the gully there. Yeah, uh, 320 metres that way and 320 metres that way. 640 metres, which is multiple wavelengths on hand bands, which is why I can use this on t antenna on all hand bands. Um, hold on Gary, repeat that one again. How, how long <coughs> is this jolly thing for goodness sake? Okay, from this point here, the centre fed point, it is 320 metres that way and 320 metres that way. <laughs> so the total length is 640 metres, which as you can see by the calculations is multiple wavelengths. Multiple on 20 metres, uh, for example, on 20 metres it has a gain over 16 dB. Right. Now, it's actually a little more than that because being a sloper on the hill, on a flat plane, the angle of radiation is about 7 degrees above the end of the antenna. But because it's sloping down like that, it is basically tapering it straight off over the top of the mountains there. Yeah, lovely, lovely. I'll just now, pan around <laughs> and, uh, and the, these are the mountains that we're... In the background we're talking about and you may be able to see a little bit of a wire. Yeah, they're about six, uh, 60 there. kilometres away, those mountains. And down below us is the Mochuaca River and uh, the water is so pure in there you can drink it straight out of the river and the little town here of Mochuaca gets its uh, water out of this uh, river. Uh, further in the, out in the back there is the Tasman Bay Sea and then beyond that is the city of Nelson. Beautiful. <coughs> now, this um, coming back to the antenna, uh, this is the uh, 12 to 1 ballon. It's uh, 50 ohms at the bottom going in, and it is 600 ohm balanced open wire line going out. And one of the little tricks, if you're trying to work out the spacing for 600 ohm uh, open wire line, is there's a little trick here is whatever the diameter is of your wire, multiply that by 75, and that will give you the spacing that there should be. And then you know you've got 600 ohm. Well, there you go, that's a great tip. So, you know, uh, yes, you can work on the principle that you can't beat a guess if it's right, <laughs> but that is a way to make sure that you've got it all in place. Now, the big antenna is slightly down at the moment because a guy wire broke on the tree at the other end and there was about one point well just over one and a half ton of strain on it uh, so the the antenna's all okay but the tree's got a bit of a bend on it because uh, the guy wire at the back broke so right. i've uh, lowered the antenna down slightly which is why you can see it slightly off center and uh, i'll go and repair that wire i've got uh, some wire it's about 60 ton breaking strain like this big one here uh, and um, Okay, Gary, if you've got one and a half ton of um, um, strain on that wire, what sort of wire is it? Uh, it's this stuff here. It's power line cable. It's um, the same. This, I've got a little sample around here if you come and have a look. So what it is, it's got a, a high tensile steel center, which is that, that one there, that's the, uh, the core. 
and around the outside of it it's got uh, aluminium or depending which country you are in aluminium and as you can see it's quite quite thick right so it looks to be about uh, 10 mil maybe 10 mil yeah 10 mil with the uh, aluminium uh, wrap on the outside yep. Yep, and, and you, as you can see I've used power line fittings everywhere because it's already designed for the wire. Designed for that and designed for the uh, the strength or the uh, tension you're going to put on and all that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, so that works all good. And that radiates fine, yeah? Yeah, real good. Yeah, <laughs> I, use it, uh, I use it on all band and because uh, aluminium, it's reasonably thick wire, uh, is good too because the losses are very low. Uh, because you've got the, the skin effect, the RF uh, radiates uh, off the outer edges of the uh, conductor. Uh, here we've got uh, conduit <coughs> that uh, goes down to the house down below there and you can see the solar panels uh, on there. We generate our own electricity. Uh, this time of the year it's all just idling along. Um, a few weeks ago I had to have a cover over the solar hot water tubes you can see on the roof there because uh, the water was getting too hot for inside the cylinder. Uh, but generally it just sits like that all year round. Um, <clears throat> there's also uh, panels down on the shed down below and um, uh, there's underground cables and ducts again go into that. So yeah, it all works away good. Uh, that's why I... Uh, in the summertime I occasionally run my linear amplifier, but uh, most of the time I just run 200 watts straight into this big antenna. So right. that's the setup. What a marvellous I, setup. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you can... As you can see, noise level is zero. <clears throat> Here's some guy, and, and of course we're not far off the middle of the day here. What are we, about one o'clock or something? I'll just bring this in. Oh yeah, sorry. <clears throat> And look at the signal strength, this guy coming in at this time of day on 40. Zero in terms of noise level, and he's up to 20 over 9. That's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Now that guy in the background, that guy's from Australia. Hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> so it's a nice quiet location. The nearest overhead power line is about a kilometre away. <clears throat> right now we're running on solar, and the solar inverter <clears throat> is only two metres away. So it's a VK. Hmm. It's on 40 metres. In the 40 metres, middle, middle of the day. Yeah. Now, if I switched to the halfway dipole, you wouldn't even be able to hear him. No, no. He'd be gone. True, truly gone. Yeah. SVK7VZ. Should give his calls in Tasmania. And I could talk back to him, no problem at all. Even without the amplifier. Now, if you've enjoyed this series uh, uh, so far of visiting New Zealand amateur radio operators, please uh, subscribe below and ring the little bell. That way, you'll be first to know when my next video comes out.